Alright, so I was pretty much just thinking of all the different things that might make someone a hypocrite. Um, the first one I came up with was uh, one religion making fun of another. I mean, <laughs> how can you make fun of another religion if it's based off of faith and your religion is based off of faith? I mean, really, how does that work? Your, your whole belief system is based off of faith and then you're going to criticize someone else for not having faith? and your god and you're gonna try to prove that your god is real i mean it just doesn't make sense to even try to make fun of someone else for their beliefs it just seems silly it's even sillier that atheists in america are pretty much seems like they're shunned almost though apparently they're one-fifth of the population but they just don't really speak out, apparently. Not a lot, at least. Uh, the next one, not believing in magic, but being religious. How? Explain to me how someone walks on water or, you know, raises the dead or any of that crap. Well, <laughs> well, not believing in magic. And, I mean,. Honestly, it seems like more of a magic trick, you know, Penn and Teller style, except without the religious pretense of a miracle, you know. All right, the next one. Saying pretty much it takes religion to believe or uh, to distinguish right from wrong, like, <laughs> and then in the next sentence, they'll wish death upon atheists, or if if you piss off a religious person, they're, they're pretty much like, oh, I hope you burn in hell, because you will, because you don't believe in God. <laughs> it's like, you're wishing eternal damnation for nothing. It's just kind of fucked up. I mean, all the shit I say is pretty extreme, but not extreme to the point where I'm wishing, you know, eternity and agony <laughs> upon my enemies. I mean, it doesn't seem very Christian. But, I mean, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um, another, good people going to hell. Like, like, any type of faith that, you know, says if you don't believe in it, you're going to hell. Despite the fact what type of person the, the person in question is, like, if they're a good person, why, why does it matter if they have faith or not? Like, it's just kind of ridiculous to even believe that. Like, I, I always had the rule that if I was good, you know, I, I thought I'd go to heaven back then, <laughs> and it didn't matter what I believed. And then as I started to realize more and more that, you know, the Bible implies different <laughs> different situations and things. I mean, it's just kind of funny because, you know, it's totally unjust. It's bullshit. And I mean, they never really do explain the part why, you know, God gives good people bad things and bad people good things. It just doesn't really make sense. How's Job doing, by the way? He kinda got fucked over. <laughs> oh man, you people. Uh, another one. <laughs> I was told this uh, not too long ago, but I was told I needed to keep an open mind when it came to religion. I, I honestly, like, that one, <laughs> honestly, like, you brainwash someone, they revolt and discredit and throw under the bus anything they were taught, but they had learned it, they know it, they know what it was, 
and they simply do not acknowledge it. Whereas religious people, you know, they just kind of believe on faith and they never take into account the other side. They simply ignore the arguments of atheists and anti-theists. And <laughs> to claim that someone, for a religious person to claim that an atheist needs an open mind, we're the most open-minded people here on this fucking planet. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. We, we acknowledge that you believe in something. We, hell, a lot of us were raised that way. And we simply realize that, hey, Santa Claus doesn't exist. And neither does God, you know? It's just fairy tales. And so many people are just unwilling to accept that fact. <sighs> um, another one. I see this all the time. People quoting the Bible. You know, they're trying to say, oh, and such and such says, do not do this because it is bad. And then in the next line, it'll say, oh, God smites. 70,000 70, innocent people because someone doesn't want to be ill and he essentially just, you know, doesn't want to be defeated in battle so he'd rather die to God. <laughs> so God just, oh, oh that's alright then, I'll just kill you and, you know, 69,999 <laughs> other people. You know? <laughs> Where's the sense? I, get... <laughs> I mean, God is up there with the fucking Italian dictators that slaughtered millions of people. And fucking the devil slaughters ten. <laughs> and I mean, you know, people get the idea that devil Lucifer is like the bad guy, but in reality, the whole idea behind him is that he punishes bad guys, and I, <laughs> I don't know why people are so fucking caught up on that whole thing. They're so afraid of the devil, but I mean, I don't think the devil, like, hypothetically, because I don't believe any of this horseshit anymore, but hypothetically... I think the devil, if you were sent to hell and were a good person, I think the devil would be fine with you. He'd say, hey, take a chair. It's fucking hot here, but, you know, you're good, you're fine. I mean, or as opposed to God, where he's like, hey, you're gay, you're going to hell. Hey, you don't believe in me, you're going to hell, despite the fact that you're good. Hey, you're a baby who hasn't been baptized, you're going to purgatory. Maybe hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that one was the one to break me out of religion. Uh, natural sin. It's completely stupid. Because babies are pretty much the most in innocent thing on the planet. Yet they're banished to hell and some fucking prick that rebukes on his deathbed that says, oh, I, I believe in you now, forgive me, blah, 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 gets into heaven. How the fuck does that work? <laughs> you just, it's bullshit, you know? God. Uh, let's see here. People, oh yeah, threatening people with your God. <laughs> your God doesn't answer prayers or anything. He doesn't fucking help you, he doesn't help anyone, yet you expect him to smite me? Uh, bring it on. <laughs> I mean, smite me. If, if you're fucking, if you want to take me on, go ahead. You won't win, because you are not real. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> oh, man, people... Um, yeah, the whole 
wishing death upon people and torture and return. Yeah, I covered that. Um, <laughs> the slutty people, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> you're religious. You wear a cross right on your chest where people stare down at it. I mean, you really think, <laughs> like, you really think that makes sense? I mean, honestly, I'm I'm fine with you like being sexual, but the fact the, f the fact that you're claiming religion while doing so is just kind of absurd. Like, <laughs> it's just so people are so fucking caught up in the fear of death that they're willing to believe anything, and it's just sad, honestly. Yeah, oh, here's another one. Um, pretty much people will be like, oh, you're atheist. You should be quiet because you have nothing to say. You shouldn't say anything because you're just bashing other people's beliefs. And, you know, that's not cool. But they preach to us all the time about shit like, Oh, if you uh, believe in God, you'll go to heaven. If not, you're suffering for eternal damnation in hell. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. More bullshit, you know? And, you know, that, I just can't tolerate being silent anymore because I've lived with that life. I've gone that path. It just doesn't work, you know, no matter how many people say, oh, you should just be quiet, and you believe your thing, we'll believe ours, and we'll leave you alone. But they don't fucking leave you alone. And even if they did, they still are fucking stupid for all their hypocrisy, all their gay-bashing ways, all their fucking stupid morals that are based off of a fictional fucking book. I mean, honestly, you, there, there's a website I checked out. It's uh, evilbible.com. You can literally scroll down for 80,000 character, word characters, where it says direct contradictions. And that's not even taking into account, like, the fucked up quotes. But it's just fucking direct count contradictions on the Bible and different quotes of the Bible. And it's just <laughs> ridiculous that people even go that route, that they try to claim faith based off of fact. <sighs> There's some fucked up quotes in the Bible, by the way. God is one sick son of a bitch. Now, now to be a son of a bitch, you have to exist. <laughs> Never mind. He's just an asshole. And I don't know if you can be an asshole while non-existing, but if you could, you would be an asshole. <laughs> uh, another one. Praying, to, praying for atheists. <laughs> Honestly, that's more of an insult to us. It's more of a condescending, hey, uh, I feel bad for you. I'm going to pray for you. Honestly shove your prayers up your ass, because we don't need them. We don't want them. We choose to believe what we believe. And if you don't like the fact that we have a brain, you know, just ignore us. Oh, wait, you do that already when we argue with you, because we point out that you're wrong, and you don't like that. So <laughs> you just block off everything we say and pretend we didn't say it. Uh, if you actually wanted to pray, uh, I mean, why atheists? Why wouldn't you pray for, like, the sick or the dying? Why wouldn't you pray for them? You're going to pray for someone who's happy with his life and chooses to have a brain and use it at the same time? Amazing concept, by the way. So many people overlook that idea. But, uh, it's just... People who claim Christianity and shit like that just 
so often have bad intent and bad bad choices all around. It's just sad. Uh, another one, claiming God is everything, so you know everything, and essentially, hey, the universe is that simple, because God did it. God is a word for the unknown. Uh, I mean, we... How, how long ago did we think the Earth was flat, or, you know, the Earth was the center of the universe? There's just so many things <laughs> were discovered by science, and, you know, that, that shit wasn't said in the Bible. The Bible didn't know it. God didn't know it. He doesn't exist. Just a... a <clears throat> It just doesn't make sense. <sighs> and there, there's the people who will argue with you and all that stuff. And they never admit they're wrong. Whereas the other side, well, if we make a mistake, we'll admit it. I mean, we're, we're not better. Or... <laughs> I would say we're not better than you, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be that big of an asshole, but we are much more free in our thinking process than you. And I simply think that if you were to open your eyes, you would just release all the fucking lives. All you have to do is take an outside perspective. On religion and just view it from our eyes for a second what if all this stuff you know were actually true as opposed to the religion where God creates everything or massive complex systems happen odds happen we're lucky sons of bitches for existing but I mean in a war or in a universe of infinity, the impossible is going to happen at some point because things change. Life always changes and evolves. So I mean, just making it that simple is just selling the universe short on its complexities. Then there's the bigotry. It seems like atheists are shunned in America. Like, they really are. It's like, we're just... <laughs> we're, tr we're treated like we're not even people, where we don't exist. Like, if we say, oh, I don't believe in God, people will be like, what? One, one of my coworkers was like, oh, I, I don't know if I can talk to you anymore. He fucking, he draws devils on his cup and shit, and he doesn't live his religion. He is not, he doesn't have good intentions or any of that. I mean, he's a cool guy, but I mean, if you're gonna go down that route, why even, why believe in a religion if you're gonna still just live your life what, however you want to live it? Which, I mean, you honestly should, but why claim that you're going to heaven, or that's essentially what religious people hope for. And they're like, oh, I could never go to hell, that's just for sinners, blah blah blah. And then, you know, you just ignore the fact that you sin too. <sighs> and then the yeah, the ignoring arguments. It's just so frustrating arguing with uh, fucking theists because you'll you'll make a very very logical argument. They'll overlook it. Maybe answer one or two. Normally not though. Normally they'll just spout some Bible quote or change the topic or just say, "Well, what about this?" Blah blah blah. But they completely ignore your logic. And they ignore their own logic. And that's the problem with religion. It teaches you to 
ignore common sense. And that is terrible. Like, why would you ever do that? <laughs> Faith alone is not going to help you. I mean, you can have faith, but, I mean, where's your God when you're falling off a cliff, you know? If you walk in front of the highway and cars come crashing near by you or swerve to avoid you, are you going to claim God saved you from not getting hit? What if you get hit? Odds are you will. I mean, then it was the devil, you know? It's just so fucking based on pointing the finger when it's just totally unnecessary. The major one I have problems with, because I was there, is t teaching your kids at a very young age that <laughs> religion is true. Because that just implants ideas, it implants the kid to just fucking hate life, essentially. Like, there, <laughs> there's just no way to justify it because it literally is child abuse. You know, threatening a kid with eternal damnation if they're not good, you know? It's just a little fucked up. A little, you know? The biggest hypocrisy I, 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 I kind of enjoy, and I think it's ironic as hell, and I wrote a poem about it, but pretty much God ignores his own commandments. <laughs> he pretty much says, oh, thou shalt not kill, but let me just go kill two million people, you know, that's no big deal. I'm God, I can do it, because I'm just. But at the same token, one of the other ones says he's a, a jealous God. I didn't know omnipotent beings could get jealous. I thought they were everything. So if they're everything, then what's there to be jealous about? There's nothing you could be jealous of unless you're not omnipotent, which God doesn't even exist, so that part's just completely absurd either way. My point is, though, if you're gonna be just so over the top of your religion, you should expect others to come back at you. Because, I mean, I just get so sick of people just fucking being stupid and ignoring arguments, ignoring all facts. They're so intolerant of having their religion challenged. But if you can't even... <laughs> you, you can't even tolerate someone criticizing your religion, that means you know you're not able to back it up. That's plain, plain and simple. You should be happy that people challenge your beliefs because it gives you a chance to argue with them and debate them and try to strengthen your argument. But when it's religion, you have no argument. Your, your arguments are based on a book that's 2,000 years old and is full of shit. So, I could understand why you would not want to argue with us, but I digress. Despite all of this, like, there are some damn good people out there that are atheists. Like, not just the smart ones, not just, like, fucking the genius celebrities and stuff like that. Um, people like Stephen Hawking and all, all basically, the list full of smart uh, atheistic value people, but I mean, simple people, I mean, atheists really are people too, as much as you like to group us in our own little corner and fear us, I mean, <laughs> we're human too, not that I ever really considered my help, myself human, but hey. There's some damn good people out there, and I've made friends with some of them. Um, uh, Cult of Dusty, uh, Dusty on there is an awesome guy. Um, he's got his own little site thing, or not site, but a 
forum group thing within Facebook, and there's awesome people on there. Um, another one is Mark. Uh, Mark is really cool. Um, and then there's Tej. I'm just, I call him Tej because uh, I can't really pronounce his real name or his full name, but pretty much my point is there's some really cool people. And if the religious people would get past the fact that, hey, these people should be just fucking treated like shit because they don't think what we think. They could get past that. If they could get to know us, they'd realize that we're good people too. We have good people. We have assholes. We have all around people. But you guys, you guys have fucking pedophiles as priests. I mean, come on. What the fuck? You try to fucking point the finger at us for being immoral and fucking all that shit. But honestly, morals are pointless. They really are. I mean, we know right from wrong. But when <laughs> that goes past a certain point, it just becomes more of a crutch, more of a just beat it into them, you know, fucking, it's a detriment, plain and simple, because it just makes you miserable if you live by the morals of the church, and you know, I've grown past a lot of them, but some just stick with me, because I found some way of justifying them, and they just stuck. And as much as I wish I didn't feel them, or have them, I do. So, it's just kind of a cursed life. But there's my rant on uh, religion. I hope you enjoyed. Um, the poem, by the way, uh, that references this one is... Uh, King of Hypocrisy, or uh, actually King of Contradiction, sorry, I renamed it, but uh, if you want to check that out, yeah, you're welcome to. Peace.